Well, if you're a fan of mobile Linux, it's a very good time right now. Especially if you're a fan of Ubuntu Touch. And we're going to be talking about that right now on Linux Lounge. Indeed, we're going to be briefly talking about Ubuntu Touch, which is why I have the Wikipedia page open right here. Um, now, I've been following the development of Ubuntu Touch kind of vaguely uh, since the launch of the first commercial device with Ubuntu Touch on it, the uh, BQ Aquaris E4.5, um, which is a phone unfortunately I never got to try, but it was a commercially available device with Ubuntu Touch on it. And um, unfortunately, Canonical, for various reasons, uh, dropped support for Ubuntu Touch. Um, as well as a few other things, unfortunately, but um, it was picked up by the community, which uh, is where uh, UB ports came in, which um, didn't quite make uh, as much of a splash as Ubuntu Touch itself did back in the day, because I remember hearing about um, the BQ Aquarius everywhere in like Linux magazines, online, that sort of thing. Uh, nevertheless, there is quite a strong community for uh, UB ports, and they've updated it quite a fair amount, uh, which is fantastic, and I will be making more videos on Ubuntu Touch UB ports in the future. However, we have uh, kind of exciting news with the Volaphone and the Pine Phone. Um, now, both of these are kind of commercially available phones, which fantastic. Uh, the Volaphone was funded by an Indiegogo, which I think the BQ Aquarius had some sort of crowdfunding thing too. Um, and the Pine Phone is by quite a famous Linux hardware manufacturer, Pine64. Now, no doubt neither of these devices are um, quite as kind of, uh, well, I suppose widespread as the BQ Aquarius was. However, uh, it, this does signify, uh, you know, mainstream, well not mainstream necessarily, but uh, commercially available Linux phones coming back on the market. And that is a great thing. Um, additionally, both of them are actually fairly affordable and will come with Ubuntu Touch pre-installed by default. Or at least we'll have an option for it, like uh, for example the Pine phone will have a UB Ports Community Edition and the uh, Volavone will have an option uh, to have Ubuntu Touch pre-installed by default, as you can see here. And additionally, the um, UB Port Foundation is actually a gold sponsor of the uh, Volavone. And uh, they will also be getting donations from the sales of the UB Ports Community Edition of the Pine Phone. So with any luck, what this will mean is Ubuntu Touch will kind of be uh, coming back a little bit, but um, as well as that, it should mean that you know more and more people go to contribute to UB ports, which um, should, in theory, of course, lead to faster development and such. But um, it's exciting because uh, for a fair few years, the only way you could get Ubuntu Touch was on kind of you know older Android devices and stuff. But now there are brand new Linux devices on the market, and that is a great thing.